Uh, I saw this on a couple of forums. I'm not taking credit for it. Just some of us are a little bit more visual. So I'm going to show you what it's supposed to kind of look like, what they say it looks like. Okay. So here it is set up. This. You want to loop this to there. This is what it will look like on your car. The one that's on your intercooler underneath on this side of the intercooler you want to cap that off basically then you want to tee into your throttle body but let me explain and make sure everybody understand there's a hump in this line I don't know what this is I think it's a check valve but I'm not sure T before the check valve that's before down there because you cheat T after the check valve you're messing up. You're not going to, it's, it's a mess up. So make sure you tee before to cut the line before it and tee in there. If you can see right there, you want to tee in before this, whatever this is in the line. Make sure, I'm just making sure that it's very important that you tee before this right here in the line. Okay. Then once you tee out of there, you pretty much bring it straight to your diverter valve or bow off valve, whichever one you have, you bring it straight to it from the T to the diverter or bow off valve, whichever one you have. Okay, so basically that's the hack. Like I say, I'm not taking any credit for that. It came off of, I think it was Torx, but I'm not sure. Um, it's on the forums, and some of us are a little bit more visual, so I just wanted to show y'all a visual of what it, they say it's supposed to look like. Um, there is no guarantee that it works there is no guarantee that it doesn't work there is no word on if it actually do does damage to the car there is i mean if you do this you're pretty much doing it at your own risk if you want to try it um me i put the mac valve in mine so i just saw this on the forums and wanted to give you know a little visual of how it's supposed to be set up this sits on your car of course so you loop it around there one more time for you guys then you tee in like i said this is very important that you tee in before whatever this is in the line that's very important before that even if you're running a boost gauge you want to put the boost gauge in this t before this right here and then you run off that t straight to your bow off valve or diverter valve or whatever you have all right you guys that was just my thing of the day um i wish you the best of luck if you try it and kind of let me know if it works or you know whatever because I, I got the mac valve in mind so i just i don't know that's something i just saw um well have fun enjoy